Welcome to the Halftime Heroes with the latest sports news from around the peninsula with Adam Kelly, Peter Sasevich, Luke Harris and Neil Craig. Take it away, Adam. G'day sports fans and welcome to another episode of the Halftime Heroes. What has been round five in NPFNL, sorry, round six, I'll go again. How's that for a start? Beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. We are back in uh, in studio, of course, bringing you another episode. And I forget what episode we're up to now. They all just roll into each other. When you're having this much fun, who cares where you're at? As I go around the room, hello to you, great yes. man, Jamich. Up and about today, got your Collingwood girl. Oh, yeah. hey. Made off yeah, straight to the game. He got a bit of Dane Spawn about you. A little <laughs> bit chunky. A <laughs> little bit nuggety. Oh, Jesus. Uh, in and under. My zero to a hundred is very quick. Oh, to the yeah. bar. Yeah. In and under. Yeah, absolutely. Bang, and a pie there. One exactly. Here, exactly. Hello to you, Spook. Hello, Adam. How are you, mate? Mate, you are absolutely oh, up and about. Mate, I've been waiting for this the whole year. <laughs> Essendon Bombers won. Frankston Bombers yeah. won. And Sorrento lost by a hundred. Yes. <laughs> That's nearly the perfect weekend. If Man of Lies had a loss, it would have been perfect. Would have been. Well, don't I'm joking. I'm sorry, Cass. Yeah. Just joking. I love yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> what a weekend, Adam. What a weekend. What what a I'm week- hanging on by a thread here, I'm telling you. <laughs> what a weekend of football. And uh, hello to Man Alive. a football nipple club, of course. Our biggest fans, aren't they? The commission. Yes, they're they very are. good to us. And Even look- though we're not so good to them, they're very, oh, very good to us, Luke. Aren't they? Lots yes, and lots are. of fans. Uh, Kamish, what's your week look like, please? Uh, well... Two look, parts of sweet fuck all because you, know, you uh you, you, oh, you would you say you're semi retired now? No, this conversation no. I've been retired for ten years, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen to be honest. About two thousand and six he clocked out of Redfield, I reckon. <laughs> two thousand and six. <laughs> just a shorty left. It's, um, <laughs> I, 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 I'll just date I, oh, I would I'll just like take to disagree with all of that, but I can't. <laughs> And I won't. <laughs> Sorry, Graham. Uh, that is out. That's going to be our first uh, 30 second reel. That, oh, one. That's that is out. Now, look, as far as the local footy, the square pegs are starting to fit into the square holes, aren't they? Now? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Aren't they just dropping oh, into I like that analogy. They're just dropping into the spots. They, you know, with a peg, it just hangs around for a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. And it's just starting to have a good look about I'd, it, Luke. I'd make us. Mm, I don't reckon that Div 2 letter's going to change. Nope. <sighs> Who's jumping in there? No. Nah, well, we're, put, we're not certainly no one from the bottom five. Five. Yep. So it makes it, it, makes it a, a, a season in seven. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you got, uh, then you got uh, Summy. It's a long way back for, um, I know we jumped the Div 2 pretty quickly, but it's a long, two games to Summy to make up on Edie who are flying, Pearsdale are flying, Devon are going to drop out in Chelsea. I don't think anyone's going to jump in there. Can we lock the top four? Just, you know. Top four. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can lock the top four. Yeah, yeah. Kribby's the one yeah. there that somebody can maybe go past. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I reckon that door's way open. Yeah. Spook, your week, please. How's it been? Uh, good week. Yep, very good week, mate. We had a down at Bombers. We had a good week on the track. We um, yep, in, we were happy with how we trained, went into the game, set up the game the way we wanted to, and we got a win, so we are pumped. Yep. Pumped with the week. Had a great week, and... Um, yeah, had a good week with the family. It's been awesome, mate. Yeah. mate very good, very good. I um, so uh, really. Oh, what'd you do, Adam? Oh, oh thanks for oh, what, what, thanks what, what for asking. So I actually um, camping is a dirty word for me. Ooh. Um, and I did it. And how'd it go? Oh, you took the bike. away? I took the bike away. So I went oh, adventure story, riding. Oh, very nice. nice. And what you got to speak to me about that? No, no. Okay, off air maybe. Yeah. Yeah, um, but so yeah, I went and got all the kit Anaconda. Thanks for supporting oh, Halftime no. Heroes Anaconda. Well done. Lycra. Just a ching 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 ching. Lycra. Um, no, Anaconda. Like, jump on. No, no. <laughs> you no, look no. good in Lycra suit. A motorbike. Motorbike. Oh, fucking Adventure motorbike. Adventure riding. Me, me, me. Yeah. Oh well done. How far, yeah, would, you, how far yeah. would you need to take a push bike? <laughs> <laughs> you, your e-bike <laughs> Tour de France your Yeah, e-bike. your e-bike. e-bike My e-bike I love my e-bike Jeez I've got You've got one. more money than God You yes. do um, We've got uh, Yeah, no, so it was very good So Anaconda supported me with, uh, with all the gear So I've gone and done it Because I got to a point where I don't want to miss out If the guys I go riding with are happy to go camping um, Then I thought, oh, I'm, I'm potentially going to miss out So I did that Wednesday, Thursday very, very good, and that's why we may have the had princess. some issues. Princess right. princess Ab- no, absol- absolutely, right. absolutely, absolutely. Right. No princess. spiders or snakes Mate, or anything. No, like? that didn't bother. That doesn't bother me. It's just the whole tent and. Well, you could wake up with a couple of rats or mice hanging out your beard, <laughs> <laughs> sneaking hey, in the what? tent, Hang on. straight in, the, straight in the fire for Bricky. Oh. That was. Oh. So no, I had a very, very good week. Thanks yeah, for asking. Right good on Let's you. And jump. the bike went well. The bike went very well. KLR, KLR 650, the Quacker. Oh, the Quacker. Trusty. I went out yesterday and bought another bike off a friend of mine. Oh, you did do it. GS 1200. Oh, 
Because you know what? You, you got the GS six hundred and fifty, didn't yeah, you? Correct. Yeah. So I've upgraded. Yeah. Come home and said to Steph, "It's Mother's Day tomorrow. Guess what I got you?" Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You said you didn't. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> With a bunch of flowers. Yeah. A like. hug. <laughs> said no, a GS twelve hundred. You're gonna love it. <laughs> So you rode the Duke, you rode the Duke caddy, and you were yeah, a fan yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. you went the you went yeah, the Beamer, the BM, older older man, older bike. Sit up yeah, a bit like, like yeah, it. yeah. Just we tell you what, we you on are, track. Are you, we on track? You are old if you ride we're a BMW track. motorbike. Oh, sure. Probably a seat. It's a thumper. Oh, <laughs> oh of course it is. Oh yeah, jeez, beautiful. Chick I reckon there's too many horses. A chick magnet. He riding around the streets of Adelaide. Actually, I got this is true that there was a rumor. There was a rumor the commission was going through. Man Eliza on in the hills there with uh, Cass on the back just dinking around <laughs> just with the Man Eliza flag <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's beautiful that might that's happen that's fantastic yeah, when you win the premiership Neil that'd be oh, the oh my god we're not, not a chance oh if you're a chance, not, oh, a chance. A red hot, red hot yeah. chance you Sorry, anyway, I, 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 I digress Boys, let's we jump straight it. into Division 2, which was Round 6. Bomb Beach taking on, of course, Edith Vale. Aspendale, Roll that along, was... Eddie. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that was our uh, selection table match of the round, was it? No, was it was Devon and Summy. No, it was Devon and Summy. So this was a very, very close second. Bomb Beach getting done at home by Edith Vale. Yeah, a, they were a real concern, Bomb Beach. They'd be, in, they'd be very concerned. They, they, that is really surprising, the it. Well, they're just not... I mean, they're obviously, they're, they're, they're they've won one starved. game, Neil. They've won one game. Look, seven six. They've had they've got thirteen scoring shots in a game of football against against twenty four. I mean, it's a thumping. Two, two. It? You know that's that's ugly, and and the scoreboard doesn't reflect. It's only thirty odd points, they, but it, wow. they played in the grand final two years ago. Yeah, I don't yeah, get yeah. it. I, I don't get it. Well, they beat us in that prelim. The list is. We spoke about well, this no, last week. The list is solid. Hmm. Isn't it? I, I, they they I, need I just, to get Macca back. They need to get back. Oh, no, go back, I boy. Like, exactly. But having said that, Edie, are, Edie are just humming, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. that's no, exactly going, right. No I'm discredit to Edie because they're coming along very, uh, very nicely flying. under uh, Pendlebury, under Pendles. Oh, and uh, early tip for the league, best and fairest. I haven't watched all the games, but apparently Lopo is absolutely tearing up Division 2, and I reckon he'll win that league medal. In front oh, of Jolly. Oh, you heard it well, here. Well, Jolly's he's, he's had some great games, Jolly. He's also had a couple of games a little bit quieter. Lopo just touches a lot yeah, of the footy every week. He's close. No, he's a, he's a very good player. Yeah. Good on him. Next game, boys. Crib Point hosted Chelsea. Chelsea just too strong, defeating uh, them well, by 36 points down at uh, Crib Point. Fantastic, Chelsea. Reserve. Good on you, Chelsea. Absolutely. You they are flying. Now, um, we're gonna, I'm going to put it out early, Kamish, so you better make yeah, it yeah, happen. Yeah, Dave Willett. Uh, we are going to get Dave Willett on the show uh, next week to join, uh, of course, the Halftime Heroes. Sure. Uh, we want to celebrate those clubs that are going extremely well, but we also want to mention clubs that are obviously not going so well. But Chelsea, you're on notice, you're going to be in on the Halftime Heroes, Dave. It'll be great to have you. So, Luke, Chelsea's meteoric rise, why? We heard nothing <laughs> nah. or very little, didn't we? Well, we a it's a good pre-season. question. There was no fanfare, of, yeah. for, no fanfare in the pre-season no, or big announcements. Might have just been the yeah. way, though. Well, I, he's obviously coaching them really well, yeah. put a lot of time it's in It's almost them. like they're an interstate club, isn't it? Because yeah. they, they just go underneath the Correct. radar. Yeah. They're not big on socials. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, very very interesting. Uh, I still got. I mean, Todd. They got great players there. Todd Gardner still running around at four hundred kicks a game. Great player. They got a lot of good players in that team. But it's not a. It wasn't like we went into the season thinking, "Geez, Chelsea are going to be clearly better than everyone." You're correct. Far from it. So good on them. So it did, does it just speak to volumes of keeping your group together without bringing in these big high imports and that sort of stuff? Just keep your group tight. Keep your juniors coming through. You know, and the the, the Paddy Riders and those guys. They're great because they draw a crowd. Mm. But there's something to be said for not having that, isn't there? Yeah. And you breed in your own backyard. Well, sustainability right. in that too. Absolutely right. I mean, if Chelsea if Chelsea had to win the flag and they've been together for a few years, they come up, they continue to grow together, they can come up and they want to stay there. Yeah, correct. If you pinch a Div 2 flag just with top end and you come up and those boys leave, you're in real trouble. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at look you, at you Mornington. Mornington are great and Lang Warren are great in Div 2 and they've come up and they're just going. Yeah. So yeah. it's a... Yeah. Chelsea, looking at what Chelsea are doing, they'll be able to come up if they win the flag yeah. and be really competitive. Yeah, yeah. of course. Which yeah, that's no, great. Next game, boys, was uh, Hastings. It doesn't get any better for Hastings yeah. going down to Seaford by 55 well, points under Seaford, They needed a win. Good on you, Seaford. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, uh, and a comfortable win at that. Um, poor kicking 16-21. So they <laughs> well and truly... Bit of goal kicking during the week. They well and truly You'd be flat ass, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> 
well and truly smashed, of course, um, Hastings Football Club. Uh, unfortunate for them. But, you know, there's some stuff going down there and there'll be some positives uh, that Gav will take away, that the senior coach down at Hastings. Uh, next game, boys. Oh, Rye almost getting the job done against Karingal. Well done to Karingal at, uh, at Karingal Rec Reserve, going down by 16 points. Rye building. They're, they're in the rebuild phase. Uh, they're coming along. Don't you worry about that's a, that. That's a nice result. Yeah, I think it's yeah, a nice that's result. A, that's a good result. That's, you're scoring. Yep, exactly. You and, you, and I think uh, obviously checking the scores throughout the day and they're up for most of it. So they will be disappointed with yeah, their, okay. last, right their last half. Uh, and then Pearsdale, too strong Oof. for Tyab. Uh, 21 points. Well done, Pearsdale. Yeah, they are on. going along going very, very nicely. Going very nice. Jimmy, come on, Jimmy. And Foxy. T- Tyab have just... They, don't, don't be tyab esque, tyab. Come I'm not on. sure they've got some come injuries. We, we might have to get Foxy in. I'm not too oh, sure. Come on. I love Speak Foxy. For me not, this. I, don't want, I don't want to pot Foxy. I don't think Foxy played. I'd start off, but he really couldn't do this. Foxy didn't play. Foxy didn't We're all play. over him. Foxy didn't play. James oh, Hammond, Will boy. Hose, the Hose boys. Jeez. It's about 18,000 of them. Uh, Chris Harris, Dale Sutton, and Ethan Sutton. Mills in, named in their best. Uh, so no Fox, of course. Oh, Freeman. Or Jimmy. No, Jimmy again. He dropped off the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might have to he get out. Have, I'll tell you what nah, I, Jimmy, I don't think he'll come back on, will he? Because he hasn't he's found form since he's not. been here. <laughs> no, no. He's been ordinary since. He's been ordinary since. Oh, yeah. And then the <laughs> halftime heroes selection table round of Division yeah, Two was Devin. Devon Meadows taking on Somerville Football Netball Club. Now I think Spook, this is going to feature in uh, your takeaway shortly, but uh, uh, going down. Somerville by 44 points. It's a big win. Uh, well them. done, Devon. Yeah, well done, Devon. It's a big win. I, they, I did say they'd bounce back. I was tipped them last week. I had a couple of messages for a few of the boys. They were happy I tipped them. But um, that's a big win at home. And without Dean Kent, too, that's an even bigger win. Yep, Dean so, Kent or Ryder. Or Paddy Ryder. And and out for some, he was Lockie Sharp. Now, big. Big out. Big out. And yeah. Lockie Williams with a knee. So Lockie oh. Sharp to Frankston and Lockie Williams with a knee. Oh, that's massive. Knee sauna. So he's... There is a couple of big ads there as well, but... But that's a shellacking, 44 points. Without the big boys playing too. In good weather. Good win. Run on Devon, good win. Yeah, good win. Very predictable, Adam, wasn't it? Yeah. We, we thought oh, yeah, about that. We yeah, thought absolutely. about 40 points. We yeah. about right. Yeah, I think that's about right. Devon. We can say that now because yeah. we forget what happened yeah. last week. Correct. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> we could listen to it again. Uh, me boy, Joel. Quite quiet day for Joel. Any one goal? Come on, Joel. One goal. Kamish, your takeaways, please, for round six in Division Two football. The continuance of Chelsea are, are stunning me. I, I can't wait to get Dave in next yeah, week and have a really good chat with him because they're they're um they're they're not just winning; they're winning by really good margins. Yep, and having a lot of shots at goal. And um, geez, yep. if they can continue that form and, and you know, for another couple of months, they're going to be right there in the big boy month Ooh, of August, yeah. September. And wow, Chelsea, what a story! Yeah, That's a absolutely. great story because it's come out of the blue. We love these; it's come out of the blue. Mm. Yeah. Like we didn't, no one thought. Oh, fuck, they're just going to finish middle of the ladder and same old thing. No, exactly so. right, and they're just going to go unnoticed. But I think this this year, twenty season twenty twenty four, they're being noticed. Yeah. So the first score you look at when you bring up the little website is Chelsea's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should how they go on this one? Yeah, exactly. Who are they going to beat this yeah. week? Two yeah. weeks time. Two weeks times the big one. Devon and Chelsea at Glover on the twenty fifth of May in a yeah, couple of okay. weeks. That's right going to that'll give us a real good look yeah, at how bench, good little benchmark. That'll be a good test. Chelsea going down to Devon. It's hard to win at Devon. Um, that'll be a real good game of footy, can't wait. We'll get to see how, who's actually the best team in Division 2 that day. Spook, your takeaways for Round 6 in Division 2? Yeah, similar deal. The Chelsea one, yeah, they're flying. And uh, Tyab's still not getting... Tyab just dropped off a little bit. Sammy would be disappointed with that loss. Um, so, Luke, was it Sammy's opportunity last year? Yeah. Are we, are we thinking you reckon they've they missed? Well, they, mm. a couple of important players left them. Correct. Yeah. And then yeah. maybe they've got a couple of injuries Murph, as well. Murph, yeah. yeah. A couple of, couple of big ones. I, I, like I said before, I don't expect. So you've got Chelsea, Devon, Pearsdale, Edie. Kribby, Kribby might hold on. Sammy might jump in, but the top four won't change. No. So the top four for me are locked away, and it'll be a fight between Kribby, Sammy, and if Foxy and your boy Jimmy can actually... Get going, maybe Ty can sneak in, but the top four are locked in. I'd yeah, sure. And you mentioned um, you mentioned earlier Bomb Beach, bit of a shock for you. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, it surprised me. I mean, they played in the grand final in Division One two yeah. years ago, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like it's, it's how quickly stunning. it can change. Yeah, lose a couple of players, you know, things don't go your way. And then way obviously, and, you know, being novices, well. You know, I'm a novice, but um, you know, you boys probably a little bit more expertial. Is it is that a word? Expertial? No, well, it's not. But it sounds it's good. Not. I like Run it. Run with it. It's we'll a good use word. that. Um, about the MP for now, it 
you don't know what sort of role those players have within the club. Yeah, they're great on the track, but do they mean a little? Do they mean a little bit more? You know, do they mean a little bit more to the committee? Do they need, need, mean a little bit more to the canton? Like you just mm. don't know what sort of ethos they bring. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, Bomb Beach, it could be they could be missing just a little bit more than it, on the track itself. And it's really succinct. Like everything has to work together, Luke, don't I? Every little thing mm. from the committee to the bloody boot stutter to Absolutely. the orange squeezer to the everything's got to be right on sync to be you know, like the, the Macca's comment, like one or two percent off by anyone. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it can it can there's holes. Yeah. Really quickly. Yeah, yeah. Well, geez, really they're quickly. They're gonna finish bottom two or three in division two. It's just a big drop. Tough gig. I mean, t- oh, it's a tough gig. It is. That rounds out, boys. Um, division two, round six. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back with more halftime heroes and round seven. Not all in-home care is the same. Aftercare has 21 years' experience matching clients to carers. For more personalised help with things like shopping, gardening, domestic chores and personal care. If someone you love could receive better care in their home, why wouldn't you change? Call Aftercare on 1300 464663 or visit after-care.com.au. So let our family help your family. Are you tired of spending endless hours on property maintenance? Look no further. Introducing Askinish, your premium solution for high-end property maintenance. Our expert team with years of golf course experience specialises in broad acre spraying and large area mowing, ensuring your property maintains its pristine condition. Say goodbye to hassle and say good day to perfection with Askinish. To find out more, call Rob on on 0407 362 328. Welcome back to Halftime Heroes, the latest on local sport across the Mornington Peninsula. Welcome back to the Halftime Heroes. It is now time for Round 7 and a little bow peep at what Round 7 may hold. We've also got the selection table for Round 7. Um, but I'll just keep up my sleeve for a couple of minutes, but uh, let's go straight into it. Bomb Beach taking on Coringle Football Netball Bomb Club. Bomb Beach have to beat Coringle. If Bomb Beach lose to have Coringle, to. they'll blow the joint up. It is not, not, this is will. a non-negotiable. No, nah, they have to win at, that. At, at home, at home, home, must win. Yep, yeah, it is a must win. Um, therefore, I think we all like Bomb Beach for this. Yes. Kareem. No, not really. Not really. Not I'll really. Think. But they just have to. They win. have to win. That. Oh, surely, oh, Adam. How could you like them? Yeah, no, I know. They're hard to like. They. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, look. The, look they the like form you. Is terrible. They but like they you. have to win. They have to win. I did. It's funny. Too, it's, it's quite funny now in hindsight. But last year, I did remind Bomb Beach on the sidelines. Good luck in Div Two next year. The crowd wasn't too happy with him when no, I said no. that. So I wonder how they're going now. <laughs> <laughs> but you never, you never say it quietly, Luke. <laughs> oh, they weren't happy. <laughs> Jeez, I thought oh, they were actually come after me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you surprised? You sound oh. surprised. I was a, just a little fun joke, but, you know. yeah, was, yeah. Well, but they'll win that. Now. They'll bounce back. They'll bounce back there, boys. Bonnie. Yeah, they'll win that. They'll yeah, win I think they'll win that. Yeah. They, they have to. They got to. They have to. Yeah. Uh, next game, boys. Chelsea uh, taking on Hastings at Chelsea Rec Reserve. Ooh, that's going to get ugly. That will get ugly. Yeah, that could be a two hundred pointer. Yeah, I think it could in be in the form. I think it They're could pretty, be. Pretty and when you've got um, when you've obviously got Devon Meadows doing a similar sort of thing, it could come down to percentage at the end of the year. Mm. So um, Chelsea are going to want to go a whack, whack, yeah, whack that's a to build from percentage. a coaching point of view, Luke. Do, if do. You say to your boys at Hastings, "Hey, do you watch the do you watch the Chelsea tape and pick out their four or five? Let, let's say their four or five on ballers or yep. around the ball, and get your young fellows to run with them to say uh, learn something here." Yeah, if, I mean, you, you know, from a coaching point. Of yeah, you would. You would. You're, you're not going to get the. You're, you're probably, probably not, not going to get the chocolate. Correct. So you'd set a couple of uh, so let's some specific things you want to get right. See, we'll have a look where yep. he runs, how yeah. hard he runs. Yeah, see yeah. If you can keep up yeah, with him. Teach, for the day. teach the young yeah. blokes for sure. You'd go and sit on Gardner for a quarter and a half if you're a young bloke and watch the running. And good luck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have, yeah. Hang on. Hold yeah, on. Hang on to his yeah, yeah, exactly. cut some caves here, boy. But you know, you learn a lot. You, you have to learn. Yeah, that's all you can. You can take a loss, but learn a bunch. Yeah, and keep keep it simple in your messaging. Slip strong. He's a good footballer. He's a good footballer. He's a good footballer. What do you reckon happens when he steps out of it? Just going to go straight to ground. He's a gun. 
Uh, Somerville taking on a must win. You a would expect. This, this is, is a, a big, big game. This is a big game. At uh, Somerville Rec Reserve taking on Crib Could Point. Could be a fancy himself. I reckon they yeah, will. Yeah, will be open to be. They're going to want to upset. They're going to yeah. want to upset Somerville at home. We know that the crowd's very vocal well, in their members area at Somerville. And Cribby's just going to want to go. You know, they're almost neighbours. They're going to want to show a little, them up. If Cribby win, it's a little elimination final for Sammy. They drop two games back. Correct. From Cribby, oh. this is a massive game of footy. Jeez, yeah, he's correct. up and about, isn't he? He's even well, doing some analytics. Well, look at it. Look, that's, double that's, bombers. that's a fucking huge game. Yeah, if huge. If Sammy lose this, that little members thing container be will be flipped. Flames. I would, It'll be flipped. It'll be, <laughs> I would suggest It'll if Sammy... It'll be put in the back of a truck and taken uh, out the back and it, torched. If Sammy lose that game, I don't think they're going to make up two games. In the form they're in, how can you? No. Because the teams it's, above them are all in, in good enough form. It, and the problem you've got is that the bottom five are definite wins because they're so bad. It's a pressure game, isn't it? If you're two games clear and you've got to run into all those wins, you can't catch them. Yeah. Ooh, yeah it's, it's, good, it's a bloody good one, Luke. Get them right, Gammers, yeah. this week, mate. Yeah, Gammers. Come on, mate. Might, Nick, have get, might have to get Lee back now. N- no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I've, got a, I've got an update from Tour, actually, that the uh, they found the Chook oh, that, oh, from shit. Chook Lotto. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> oh. Someone's bench. No, someone's up. And they, they, um, <laughs> he attacked the owner. Oh. He's gone rogue. The Chook? He's been in a bad crew on the streets. <laughs> He's learned a lot on the streets. <laughs> that chook. Yeah, he He's come back mean. Tats wearing. He was packing some, some tackle. Packing some tackle. Tackle. That little chicken. gun thing. And <laughs> oh, miss. Bloody bad chicken <laughs> crew in tour. He's come back. Knife. Fuck, is he aggressive? It's a little knife. <laughs> Tack the owner, I think. Absolutely. So. Days of anyway, sorry about that. We. We digress. Our uh, next game, it's not going to get any better for Rye, unfortunately, down at RJ Rowley Reserve, uh, hosting Devon Meadows shit. down there, Spook. Uh, that, that'd that be a 200 point. Another one. That's another one. I'd be saying run with him. Go go run with Joel. Have a look at Dean Kent if he plays. Run with him for a while. We uh, can tag team. What would be fun, do us a favour, Devon, just put Joel inside 50 and try and break the goals the goals record at MPF now. Let Joel Hill has kicked 25 this week. Yeah. Imagine him inside 50 on his own with a plethora of ball going down there. Oh, right. Still, I'm still getting over the fact that he dyed his hair. Jolly. Oh, he looks so cute with the blonde tips, oh, Jolly, he doesn't does he? does not. Good on him. I haven't seen him. He looks slim shiny. tips. Is he yeah. running? He's, he's, he got a, he's got a, he's got a, he's slim shiny. He's got a bit of hair. Yeah. Yeah. He's looking good. Oh, Svelte, man. I don't know about that. He might kick 20 himself this week. Do you reckon? He could, he You're could. right, though. So you reckon oh, that'd be Martin I mean, if the ball's going to be coming down there flat out, yeah, just push yeah, everyone yeah. out of 50 and let him kick 25 yeah. goals. Be awesome. So he will, he will kick. He could kick 20 himself. He could. He could. So he will kick Rye's score. Oh, oh, he'll he, no, double it. Triple it. Double it. Triple it. Oh, jeez. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Yes. A, a little bit. But it's another like one. Little, little, teach kids. Yeah, teach to, kids. Just yeah. right. Just take something it's out of like them. It's like a little baby rubber them. A, Again, with all these big wins, I think the league need to be really considering like the Division sus. 3 nil. It's got to. You can't have like 150, 200 a, point wins. a sick old, like, inferior primate. Do you know what I mean? Like in those oh, Discovery like Channel a, like things. Like a nanny type nurse type set up. Oh, like a foster dad. No, like it, when they when the bigger ape when the bigger apes and stuff they they feed on the smaller they do the cheese do the yeah exactly mm. and that's that, well, they eat them that's, yes yeah that's why well, sus is in Thailand there's heaps of little monkeys and oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> the king disgusting. of the jungle do they eat their own the no, chimps do they're not the uh, not like. Chimps don't eat chimps, but they'll go and they will hunt the little swinging monkeys, like the little the ones with the long tails, uh, and they grab them by the tail and they just smash them, them. smack them, right. smack them. Very aggressive. Yes. Chimp That's Empire what Sus is doing watching. as we speak. Oh, He's roaming the tree. <laughs> He's spanking something. His monkey's getting <laughs> spanked. If Sus is smacking a monkey, he's not. God. I'm not. Maybe the monkey's <laughs> <I'm> done. <laughs> He's in the massage room. Well, he said it's that half-naked shot. Did you? Oh, no. Can we please When he was ill? It is morning. Funny. It could be people having breakfast. Uh, What is listening? Seaford. Uh, Seaford will be taking on Ty Abbott, RF Miles Reserve. Ty will get that done. They'll, they'll I think so. Way, yeah. I think so. Maybe Correct. the uh, maybe the unnamed that haven't been named in the last few weeks might be named in their best. Mm. Yeah, Do they'll you win. They'll win that. They'll win that time. They'll be us back there. And the halftime heroes match of uh, the day, of course, the selection table will be Pearsdale and Edith Vale. Boys, um, a good selection by you two. Uh, well, we're called, this is a final. This this is a final in May. Mm. Little little um, little treat for the spectators there. This is a possibly a prelim final in May. Yeah, it's a it's gonna be a game of footy. Obviously, the midfield. Real good battle in the midfield, but I think Pearsdale at home with E. I'm not too sure who plays full back at 
Eddie has, but uh, with Brett Eddie at full forward and Snyder's getting 40 a week, I, Pierce Dale will win that at home, mm. I think. Agree. I think Pierce Dale, as Macca said last week, if I I really respect what Macca's got to say about footy and he said he thinks Pierce Dale the best team in it and they're well coached. And can, can I just touch on that? Um, Macca, Lee McQuillan. Um, fuck, how... how like brilliant. He wasn't too brilliant in the coach's box yesterday, was he? <laughs> yeah. So does that, yes. make, does that make you? Does that make you a better? That makes you a better no, coach. No, not at makes all. Makes you no. a better coach. I'm not, oh, I'm not the coach. I'm up, not the like. coach, Neil. Neither is he. <laughs> so <laughs> J- Jared Grant. Jared Grant's the coach. Um, well, no, nah, we, we did. We did quiet. do a couple of little things there, Rico. We got you around the ball, Rico. <laughs> and did he give you the significant amount of money? Um, he what? didn't actually give me money. He said he bought me a cruiser and left it on the bar, and I had to a go. A land cruiser? No, nah, a sugar free cruiser oh. that I, I would, uh, my little gay drink that I have. But yes. um, <laughs> I had to go. So sorry, Rico. I'll collect my drink off you at another time. Right. Mm, interesting that. I'll tell you what, we, but we, Pier- we're getting Pier- off track today. Pierce Dale, uh, yeah, no, no, it's a good day. Great it's game fun. of footy. And Edie, if Edie can win that, again, it puts that gap between the next couple below them. Jeez, the, the top five could be sewn up this week in Tiff Absolutely. Two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ooh. agree. Ooh. Agree. Wow. So you reckon? So next, then they just jostle. Next yeah, week, they'll filter out who, who finishes. I'll make a note three. next week. We'll go through. In we'll give a bit of an in-depth analysis of um, the ladder. Yeah. yeah, Let's have a projection of where we think the teams will finish next after week. round. After round, after eight. round seven. Yeah, yeah, of course it will. Not that it we will know, be but essentially. We're as guessing like everyone else. So no, it's absolutely. Cool, cool. And everyone can have their opinion. But yeah. If you like, absolutely. Um, well, that is uh, that is the end of Division Two football. Have you got anything to add, uh, my no, boy, Kamish? I think I'm I'm liking the evenness of the top four. I think it's going to be exciting as we head into August. Yes, yeah, keep it's your good. list, keep your list healthy. Rest those that you can. Well, the the advantage the top boys have got is that throughout and the Devon with a few of the older boys and any of these top few, they're going to be so far ahead against these teams that they're winning by 150 to 200. You can rest a bloke here, That's right. rest a guy manager. there, bring Definitely in, some, bring in some young boys, give them an opportunity over Agreed. a couple of weeks. Where, and then that does help you know, for uh, later on in the year, you can rest a few older bodies. So it's going to be a good final series in Div 2. There's not much in it from between second and fourth, is there? Nah, like all, s- all sitting on twenty points, and um, who yeah. comes in healthy? Yeah, Macca. they came in healthy, didn't they? Yep, right time of the year. You don't have to be good all year; just got to be good yeah. in August. Yeah, that's the case. Yep, and that goes back to what you said, Spook, about managing, you know, managing that list. You play these, you know, bottom five, six, even teams. You start managing your list. You rest some. Yeah, um, you know, you bring some of the, you know, the kids yeah, in, and, and just work and make sure the list is healthy when it counts. Yep. Adam, or, you're learning something by the way. <laughs> it's like, it's hey, you are, you I might are fucking end up knowing something way. about football, yes. eh? Yeah. It's, not a, it's not about <laughs> who you play. Lot, but it's never about who you play. It's when you play them. Exactly. Yeah, That's exactly right. Because you can get a team. I mean, if you come up against Devon at home and Ryder's out and Kent's out and Jolly Hills is out, well, it's not the same, oh, is yes. it? If Joel goes... But um, we took that's yeah. like a different story. Yeah, say, yeah um, exactly. Yeah, so it's going to be a great... Repli- he's not replaceable. No. No. Oh, God, no. Not not a player of that calibre. like him that much. Of course not. I love him. Oh, we all love him, don't nice. we? we Coach him for three years. He said three words, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Very quiet, boy. Yeah. That, that was Jimmy. at the end of the year, asking for an extra couple hundred bucks. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he knew... Just 200. Because he knew the commissioner was leaving and there was going to be a huge three gap. three years trying not, to, trying not to spend money and all they've done is spend money. But anyway, that's another story. That's yeah. another story. Well, that is a wrap for Division 2 Football for uh, Round 6 and the upcoming Round 7. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with a, just a little bit of a different-looking coach's corner. Ooh. You are listening to the Halftime Heroes podcast. When your loved ones live alone, it's concerning. So I had no problem changing providers when I saw a better option. Whether it's helping the aged maintain their independence or providing an approved NDIS package for someone with a disability, a visit from one of Aftercare's qualified personal carers can make all the difference. Aftercare prides itself on tailoring personalised service to the aged and those with disabilities and has done for 21 years. If someone you love could receive better care in their own home, call Aftercare on 1300 464663 or visit after-care.com.au. Changing was the best thing we ever did. So let our family help your family. 
Are you tired of spending endless hours on property maintenance? Look no further. Introducing Askinish, your premium solution for high-end property maintenance. Our expert team with years of golf course experience specialises in broad acre spraying and large area mowing, ensuring your property maintains its pristine condition. Say goodbye to hassle and say g'day to perfection with Askinish. To find out more, call Rob on 0407 362 328. Welcome back to Halftime Heroes, the latest on local sport across the Mornington Peninsula. And welcome back to the Halftime Heroes. It's now time for Division 1 football, a segment that we love, a part of the show that we love, we're fond of. Soft spot, Division 1, better than Division 2. Better. better. That's why it's one. <laughs> oh, I've, never, I've never thought about that, you know. Mm. Anyway, you're an idiot. Um, we've just been holding on to this, haven't we? Mm. Through the Division 2. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything about it in the in the uh, opener. Do you want to do it? No, nah, you introduce it. Oh, yes, well, yeah, we've a very, very, very special man we've got in studio. Um, been fond of him in... Uh, just around, uh, especially down at Dramana. We've got Jake Arts, hey. the absolute legend um, that is down at uh, down at Dramana. Hello to you, Jake. Thank you. Thanks for that intro. That was, um, I don't get <laughs> any of them. Very <laughs> lengthy. That was a great intro. You had a bit of movement in the pants. Oh, around. absolutely, <laughs> mate. I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah, at, uh, yeah, yeah, just little ladsies up and about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calm the phone. <laughs> Well, let's jump straight into uh, into the coach's corner. You've been itching to, to just have a chat to Jake. Richmond fan too, Nelly's got oh, some. I know. Yeah, exactly. And so is Jake. Jake. And so is Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Found out it's fair that for Richmond star. An star absolute is. Richmond star. And now he's starring down at Dramana. Take it away, please, with the coach's corner, Kamish. Jake, thanks for coming in. All the way from Beaconsfield down to Mornington, mate. We do appreciate you coming in on, Beric, a, sun, Beric, on, a, Beric, on a Sunday. Beric, Beric, don't get very good. Beric, 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 Right. So all the way down, mate, on Mother's Day. Thanks for coming down. Appreciate no it. Good to be here. Jake. Coming off a thumping 87-point win over Sorrento. Yes, Jake. Sorrento, Did eh? us all a favour. Yeah, good. good. Thank you, Dramana. Could have, could have rested the last quarter, mate, but you didn't. You went on and, uh, and kept pushing on. Good win down there, mate. That little veranda of theirs would have been just a little bit quiet, a little bit empty yeah. with 10 minutes to go. Oh, oh, oh. It, it was a bit quiet down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did kick a goal in that pocket and then I turned around and I was trying to give him a bit, but they didn't give me one. <laughs> <laughs> turned around, there's no one there. Yeah, exactly. Where'd exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, What are they no, going to do? Yeah. Oh, you're too good. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a glass of red, you, you pillick. <laughs> yeah. Throw it on you. <laughs> so, um, no, it was good win down there. I mean, we... <laughs> like obviously what they did last week to um mm. Mount Eliza so we kind of um knew that we had to sharpen the tools and um we went sharpen down them there. you did yeah and we wow. wanted to play four quarters because we haven't really been putting that together yeah. um mm. this That's, year yep. so um yeah we're starting to show some signs of where we're at last year which is good we got some boys coming back in and um we're all sort of gelling a bit. And yeah, with fantastic. Home, yeah, with the stuff that Holmes has brought in as well, we're starting to click, which is good. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously there's some time, like all the clubs are going to be coming f- for, for us now this year. Mm, we're kind yeah. of the hunted. So, yeah. um, oh, it just Do means, you like that? Do you like uh, being the hunted? Does that make you uh, play uh, better? Well, Especially I you. I don't think so. Because we, um, last year, we after a win, we just come in and prepare like, for another game it's like well what did we do well let's train for it um what we didn't do well we trained it during the week and this year we're kind of doing the same like you know even winning all those games last year we just like thought about another game like let's just tick one box at a time and that's Mm. what we it's the same method as we're doing this year whether we win or lose it doesn't matter Yeah. yeah like the results will come exactly anyway even if i mean we might have more losses this year who knows but like we'll, the process will be the same yeah. anyway yeah, yeah. so so Jake have, have you brought that to the group coming from AFL level have you brought that sort of ethos to say to the boys don't you know, it's one week at a time sort of stuff oh not not, not really not necessarily I, like the group down there they're so player driven like mm. um, yeah, yeah you know on a, we might we might touch on it but like Billy Quigley and um, Gert the Gertz boys and um Dean War, like these sort of guys, they're just like yeah. so player driven, and yeah, um, yeah. that's where their culture, that's that, mm. that sort of culture they've built down there. So 
coming into that, like I didn't have to do bring too much in. I had I've brought in a little few snippets of things, but yep. nothing that um, he's going to change. Yeah, know. I yeah. didn't nothing that yeah. I had to change. Yeah. Nothing. I, I didn't really want to change anything. That was not yeah. um, what I wanted to do. So, um, but no, yeah, that's sort of the focus that okay. we're going on this year. Anyway, Good on you, mate. so let's rewind. We've jumped ahead there a little bit. Back to your junior days at. Berwick? Where'd you play Be- Beacon Town. Oh, oh. Well, could it be any more confusing? <laughs> that, God, that's why you didn't, to get it, you didn't want to get it wrong now. Beaky and Berwick, you get oh, that well, wrong. You know. Ooh, yeah. Very Jesus. bitter yeah. rivals. Well, what, a, what a great junior footy club, though. God, yeah. they produce yeah. some good football. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Juniors at Beaky, a huge footy club. Oh, massive. Great, great um, massive. facilities and that sort of stuff. Massive. You yeah. went through the juniors. It yeah. started, started in a, as a little six-year-old or something. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, I mean, the memories are fond now. Like... I haven't been there for a long time, but yeah, played all my juniors there, um, and then transitioned to senior footy from there. Okay, surely they get you back to a sportsman's night or something, don't they? Ah, uh, well, well, getting back if you. Well, oh, yeah, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I, open up the checkbook, boys. You get back. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> I do. As a one point player too, I do know. Like, they've still got all the old guys there that I know and stuff that work around the club. So I, when I do get back there, like I do like good, having a good chat That's with them awesome. and stuff. And I mean, they're always welcoming me, but welcoming me back there anyway. Yeah, so great so, club. So you went through the VFL process. You drafted to Richmond in 2019, played two, uh, 42 games in between 2009 and 2022. The Tigers made during that period, obviously it was a period of success. Oh, it was mm. 2017, 19 and 20 flags. Yeah. You were close to playing in the <coughs> 2019 uh, Premiership tw- 20? 20? 20. 2020? Yeah, 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 20. Yeah, I was, I was emergency, so yeah. did the warm-up. Oh, yeah, uh, didn't think about tripping someone up on the warm-up nah, or something? Well, or? the sub rule wasn't in, and then oh, Boston shit. went down early. So I was oh. sitting in the race going, geez, oh. I have a chance. But, um, yeah, so played that nearly that whole COVID mm. year. Yeah, right. Um, and then, unfortunately, we got done by Brizzy in the, in the qualifier or something, and then... Um, we had Lynch coming back in, and they were making room for Lynch, and I was, I was unfortunate one to um, okay. to come out. So yeah, but like you know, to even be at an emergency, oh, yeah. like it's oh, it's for that it's team, for it's that club, on, yeah. at the Gabba, that that was it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's like awesome. something that um you know I was this close, yeah, but it's awesome. um it is what it is now. And so you're you're a Tigers boy. You're you're a Richmond supporter, as luck would have it. Um, when you got drafted to Richmond, was that like a dream come true? Like, shit, I'm running around a yellow black jumper here on a really good footy team. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that the dream, come, the dream, probably wavered at times. Like, there was times where, like, obviously thought that I wasn't going to get there, mm. and the the ambition sort of left me because I was um, playing VFL, and I just thought this was this was it. You mm. know, like, if this is it, it's fine. Yeah, like, of it course. Was, didn't Wait worry me too much. Yep. Um, and like I was almost going to um, sort of um, head at leaving the VFL because yeah, right. I wanted to get business up and going and okay. and stuff like that. So, um, but it was the last year of my VFL season that I actually started to get a bit of interest. And yeah. once one, I got I had a few phone calls. But once one come, then the next one come. Yeah. Okay. Then I was like, "Geez, I better sort out something." Yeah. So I ended up <laughs> you get, come on the radar. Yeah. Bit, so who, who else rang you? Who else rang you, Jake? Um, I spoke to. Um, the first one was uh, Adelaide. Yeah. So I come in one night at training on a Thursday yeah, right. night. A couple of missed calls from Adelaide. Wow. Yeah. Um, Fremantle, I met up with. Essendon were always on the radar yeah. for uh, since I was younger. Yeah, we needed small falls. Come on, Essendon. But they, yeah, 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 so I was on the radar with them for a while, but and I, they'd always like have a chat to me around yep. then, but they'd never really followed through. Yep. So um, they wanted me to come play VFL, but it was either VFL at Richmond or VFL at Essendon, yeah. and I was like, well... Richmond, I'm just going for it anyway. Absolutely, yeah, like, stay there. And then, um, obviously, closer to home. Yep. So yep. I was yeah. like, I'll just go to Punt Road. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So that was the decision there. Whether it would have gone my way or not at mm-hmm. Essen, who knows? Yeah, um, yeah, sure. But um, and then during the draft combine, um, there was a couple of other clubs that I was talking yep. to as well. Awesome. So, but yeah, Rich, Richmond, I didn't. They actually didn't give me much clue of they were going to take me. <laughs> so um, it was it was rookie draft night, and um, so you didn't know. No, I didn't oh, know. Wow. So we did the family yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they were all over at my sister's place. And then um, I wasn't even watching it at the time, actually. <laughs> it was just, the rookie draft was going through that quick. And I was probably having a beer or something. And then yeah. um, <laughs> next minute, my manager was 
calling me going mate you're about to go to richmond and then it come up on the screen so that's and then that's yes. that was probably the like the, it would have been that's, yeah, such a thrill. that's the moment where like it was blur for me but like for the family oh, my mates yeah, they were like yeah, loving it of course Absolutely. so like Absolutely. that's where um that's sort of like how yeah, that sort of yeah, transition okay. and how so. did you find dimmer the turncoat Oh, yeah. Neil! Oh well, you can't be exa- you can't be exhausted one week and pick up a six year contract. Uh, the next Jake, he well, his I'll say it on your behalf. You can't do it. He well, won three I, flags. For I was can't actually I oh. was a bit dirty. Didn't pick me up earlier. Too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, fuck, he's taking him six years. <laughs> <laughs> pick me up, but nah, like, you know, it's a real yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, he, right. like, he was alright. I um like he kind of like he didn't give me a lot because I think he knew that like oh, I didn't need a lot. So, mm. like, he didn't need to coach me a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, like, I didn't have, like, I didn't, you know, with coaches and stuff, they sort of have their assistant coaches doing all the main stuff. Mm. And um, with Dimmer, he didn't really need to give me a lot because he knew that, like, I was already coach, yeah. coached and yep. stuff. So, um, he kind of just let me go. Yeah, so, that's which was, yeah, not bad. What's your favourite memory coming out of Richmond? There must be a time when you think you're streaming at an open goal or you snuck one from the boundary oh. line, the crowd went bananas or you gave it to the opposite. There's got to be something you think, fuck that, that's good. Uh, <laughs> oh, there, oh, there is a moment where... Come on, what is it? We actually... Um, Jazz it up a bit. Or we'll do it for you. Oh, I like to, <laughs> I, I'm, not a, I'm not a massive goal kicker now. Like, I, I do kick a couple, but like, as a small forward, like, I was like due for like a goal game or yeah. something and... A um, couple of times I kicked a couple or kicked three or something. Yeah. So there was a time at the bang. G. Kick bang. Yeah, time at the G I kicked three against Geelong. Hey. And I Geelong, remember there was this, I took a mark about 50 out and I like went back and dobbed it and I was given the, I was given the fist pump on the way off <laughs> and got a bit of a standing ovation. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would have been there. I would have been there. And then, and then, and it's it's, it's funny because my brother-in-law, <laughs> my brother-in-law always gets, gets into me about this one. He goes, you give the fist pump to the crowd and stuff. That's so right. look, there was uh, moments like that, like yeah, on the G. That's awesome. Like, yeah, against good. Geelong. How good. Like, 80,000 yeah, people there. Yeah. And I mean, there was, there was heaps, mate. But yeah. like, you know, just those little moments yeah, like, you awesome. know, you don't know, you don't get to kick three goals on the they do that. Oh. They do that with you at Dramana now. Clap you oh, off. No. Yeah, oh, no. right, no. oh, no. there's, there's plenty, Sorrento, there's plenty of other blokes that they could be, should yeah. be doing that too. Yeah, you've got, you got Billy Gertz and all the boys that have cut six of them off. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable yeah. footy team. Uh, oh. uh, just So let, let's roll into Dramana now. Dramana's game style is very similar to the successful Richmond. Yeah, that flicking the ball forward, really yeah. quick ball, isn't it? But just to watch you play, you think, shit, that's Richmond. Yeah. Did you have anything to do with that? Oh, no, I don't think so. I think um, when I came, um, I'd, I'd watched a bit of Dramana through the year before. Geordie Andrews, my mate, yep. um, who sort of got me down there, I was um, come down and watch him in a final. I actually think it was against the Bombers. Yep, in the uh, final? Yeah. When we won? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, did you get in, did you? Sorry. Harry, that was a great game. Harry Pryor and, and Gertz, because Harry, I rate Harry Pryor, and Harry and Gertz had a great battle. That's a good game of footy, that. Yeah. Good. So I'd actually seen a little bit of him play and, you know, real high handball oh. um, skills. skills. So um, when, I, when I came, it was like Pricey, our coach, was sort of told me what he wanted to do and he said we play a handball mm. game. He's like, you'd fit yeah, right yeah. in with it. Yeah, so like, it's, perfect. Yeah, so yeah, like, it's, it's perfect for the way yeah. you play. Sort and, of and then, and we're not, ma- I mean, we're not massive. We have brought some bigger players in, but we were never massive. No. So like, and then the speed that we've oh. got, it's like, well, it makes sense yeah. to play. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's actually frightening. Quick like, handball game. I'd love so. to, I've said to Neil heaps of times, I'd love to come down and watch the way you train because it, it's almost a different, when you play Dramana, it is a different game that you play against every other team. Yeah. The way you guys get, yeah. get numbers to a contest and handball chain from there, it's, it's so hard to coach against. Yeah. Because, oh, like, it's hard to set up. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I'd love to watch yeah. how you set it up because you can't coach against it. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. it's hard. A, a lot of it's probably like, um, a lot of it's probably a bit of instinct as well. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Like it's not, it's not all like structured. Yeah, exactly. It's just play and whatever happens, happens. Just so go. it's like, yeah. just go. it's not, you know, people might think, oh, like it's just all, you know, it's like a yeah. structure to it. It's play. It's, it's quick, reactive. Yeah, it's yeah. quick. It's, yeah. it's, um, it's it embrace react, like, Embrace whatever happens, whether it's perfect or not. Yeah, you just that. turn up. And so you can't train that, can you? You really well, can't. You can't. What, what drills do you set up for that? 
Make, well, it, uh, make it messy. Well, well, well the I mean, drills that like it's just maybe like sharp, clean hands is probably the you know the easiest thing to train yep. because that's what you're doing in the game. And then yep. the rest of it, like whatever happens, happens. Because at the end of the day, footy bounces all over yeah, the place. Exactly. You've got eighteen blokes you're trying to play against. Um, you, you try to play within like bring some you know structure into yep. it, Correct. but like yeah, just at the end of the day, it's yeah. just just play. We've been saying it for. A, for ages now, Spook, haven't we? That it's a testament to the Dramana playing group that the that mentality that you know they know how harmonious they are. They know what's going to happen yeah. without even training that particular drill. It's, it's incredible. It's scary when you listen to like there's a stoppage. I mean, Sam Gertz is there, and the the voice and the talk and the communication amongst them is by far the best in the comp. Yeah. Um, and they're giving handballs to each other without even they just know that yeah. someone's coming and yeah. it's like a wave of like you always outnumber the opposition every time there's a loose ball there's five to four six to five always out it's just work right Correct. and then it's speed mm. on the ball and off they go and everyone's like oh shit with six goals down so after you, you've only Drabana have only dropped a game this year yeah you wanted to bring that and up, yeah. who'd you lose to oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just let's just sort of drill down on that a bit so yes. what was the post-mortem of that mate the metalizer <laughs> the metalizer building oh me me uh, me me well, well it's the elephant in the yeah. room and well, it's not here real <laughs> no oh look I mean the way that uh, well Manny have obviously got some like gun players so like and their midfield's quite quite skillful as well so we had to try and Without with doing our doing our review, we had to come back and just figure out like what we actually what they did better than us. Yep. So, yeah. and we went and did that, and um, straight away there was some things there that we've picked up on straight away. Yep. Um, and like we've got a couple of young boys in there at the moment, Joshy Gertz, um, Jack Slats that are, haven't played. Well, Joshy played. They've both played a bit of senior footy, yeah. but good play. Um, bit of inexperience from what we've been yeah. having. So, yep. um, yeah, look, we picked up on that, and obviously. Um, the way they moved the footy was, um, you know, they did their re- did their homework on us. Yeah. So, um, we, R- Ricky. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. He excited. obviously knows the yeah. Demana boys quite yeah. well. And, um, yeah, so there was some things there that we know that we could have done better yeah, that okay. week. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, now and now whether other clubs are trying to do the same there. So, you know, yeah. we know what well, we need to do when that, ha- when that time comes anyway. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see the, what happens. The loss next you needed time to get better. Yeah, one of those ones. Yeah, hundred percent. Let, let's so, see come finals time now whether yeah, the well, man, man yeah, well, boys can stand up to the men of the competition. Oh, oh well, whatever. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that I, it's the one game I watched Ramana play this gets, year. And he gets so all yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah no, no, absolutely. And you know, and it comes on back to life. It's nice most, to have someone sensible. In here, yeah, and most teams will come and try and do. <laughs> these things to us anyway so yeah, we've just got to be uh, well if they're going to come and do this how are we going to stop that yeah, so yeah, great spot to be in each week is you know you know your strengths and you know teams are coming after you and even if they get a hold of you here you can get you're such a professional club you'll go to work yeah. on it improve yeah. get better yeah. like you said it's just week by week that's improving. right it's going to be yeah, I can't and, and it's the changing during game if something's not working then we can come in and change that I was going to ask you know when we played Bombers played you two weeks ago in the yeah. first quarter you sort of zoned in the second quarter I think you went man on yeah, man and that it. changed the game because we actually yeah. were using 45s yeah. and trying to keep the ball off you a bit and the moment you went man on man we like, could, we, then we had the punt you went number and how yeah. quickly it was great yeah. that you adapted and just changed the game and then you smashed it got back it, so. to what they wanted yeah. it seems like, like, like that yeah. so, was that yeah. your call or the coach um, it was I wouldn't say it was kind of a Com- have a chat yeah because yeah, yep. we could see what was happening yeah it's like, well, let's just, let's change this yep. now. Yeah, it's great. So, and some, but that, that doesn't always work. Like some teams are, um, will want it's a bit easier if we, we're taking we're zoning. Yep. Because then, absolutely. Um, but yeah, no, it's that's what sort of what happens. Yeah, so. great. Jake, great chat. You're going to stay for our selection table of uh, our um, division one wrap and selection table. And yes. Sort of bizzo. So, mate, appreciate you coming in all the way from Berwick. The one L. Cheers. That's the one, Eli. But um, if you can stay with us, mate, for the next 20 minutes, we'd appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Absolutely. Uh, That has been the Coach's Corner. We're going to be back very, very soon with more Halftime Heroes. When your loved ones live alone, it's concerning. So I had no problem changing providers when I saw a better option. Whether it's helping the aged maintain their independence or providing an approved NDIS package for someone with a disability... A visit from one of Aftercare's qualified personal carers can make all the difference. Aftercare prides itself on tailoring personalised service to the aged and those with disabilities and has done for 21 years. 
If someone you love could receive better care in their own home, call Aftercare on 1300 464663 or visit after-care.com.au. Changing was the best thing we ever did. So let our family help your family. Are you tired of spending endless hours on property maintenance? Look no further. Introducing Askinish, your premium solution for high-end property maintenance. Our expert team with years of golf course experience specialises in broadacre spraying and large area mowing, ensuring your property maintains its pristine condition. Say goodbye to hassle and say good day to perfection with Askinish. To find out more, call Rob on 0407 362 328. Welcome back to Halftime Heroes, the latest on local sport across the Mornington Peninsula. Welcome back to the Halftime Heroes. Well done to you, Kamish. Well, it's a it's quality. It's just quality. Absolutely, not, mate. It's not quantity. It's just a bit of quality. About the quality. <laughs> okay. Oh, Go yeah. on. Don't be like that. Let's get <laughs> straight. All the way from Berwick. Let's get straight into uh, what was round six. And I'm going uh, to go straight into uh, last week's selection table. Uh, Sorrento taking on uh, Dramana. Dramana, two. Way too strong. 136 defeating uh, Sorrento by 87 points. Wow. Well, well done, Dramana. Did us all a favour. Sorrento's what a blue just has stick. <laughs> <laughs> Just off yeah. the walls. It's a bad loss, though. Like, Sereno would be fine. They're, they're in good form. And, for, like, everyone would have thought it was going to be match of the round. And Dramano have just gone whack. Spook, you, uh, you mentioned that uh, only two players I'm listed. Ha- Leapo Holke might have been a bit dirty after the game. He's gone the old, <laughs> fuck this, only two blokes in the best. Bit, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Jack Beverly and Michael Walker must have played well. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, they didn't play. <laughs> yeah, you just but, named them. But look, this is how good Dramano. you got Sam Fowler, Garn, Rittenstrom, Jack Siri and Jack Slater. I mean, blokes like Jake aren't even getting in the best. Yeah, they win yeah. by 100 points. Yeah, so that's exactly. how good they are. That's unbelievable. Exactly yeah, that's right. Exactly right. Good game of footy, Jake. Just put a hole in him. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was real good. We'd How's the start? Yeah, that was the key, I think. <laughs> Jeez, oh, yeah. You can't, you can't give them a sniff down there. And you, you mentioned, um, Jake, that you know you, you, your efforts on the track last week were, were about putting four quarters together. Yeah. You have been, in, in previous weeks, probably a little bit slow to start. So yeah. that was obviously to come out and kick seven. That would have been tick, tick on the board. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And our skipper, Billy, he come in at, before we went out and said, let's make a statement here early. Yeah. And, and yeah. we did. So um, Not bloody but, wrong, yeah. you did. It was a real windy, was shitty day too, wasn't it? That was a poxy great. day. Yeah, 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 it was. It was. So, yeah, it was a pretty ordinary day. Yeah. Probably helps when they have 400 handballs. They're not kicking it too often. They're just handball, handball, against handball. Against the win. Against it's the win. Oh, exactly yeah. right. Goals yeah. 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 yeah, it's crazy. Bang. How, uh, good, how good a player is Billy to play with, mate? I know you've played with a lot of good players at AFL level and VFL, but he is a special footballer. Quicks? Oh, uh, Gertz. Gertz. Oh, Billy Gertz. Gertz. Uh, and yeah. Quicks. And Quicks. Oh, Quicks is a freak, too. His just, agility's amazing. Yeah, those two are like... Um, I just love playing with them. Oh. Like, they're just... Um, Quick, Billy Quigley's so smart. He like, he's one of the smartest footballs yeah, I've ever played absolutely. with. And like, well, that's you know, something. To, um, well, they, they were yeah, and, at Richmond. and they're just <laughs> both so like, and then Billy in the ruck, he's just a beast, isn't he? So, um, yeah. to he's have them for then goes to ground and, oh, and he's like, yeah. up. He's to have yeah, them around exactly. the midst of it, yeah. like I just love playing with them. Yeah, like, it's great, just, mate. yeah, it's awesome. Unbelievable. Uh, the uh, next game, Kamish, was the battle of the assistant coaches, oh, of course. Hey. We yeah. saw we had uh, Macalee McQuillan in, of course, uh, from the Mornington Football Netball Club. Uh, took on your boys, Spook, and uh, you've done it, mate, by 29 points. Yeah, good. Well, it's good. We started well. We um, we probably should have been a bit further up at quarter time, and then we sort of went to sleep in the second quarter. They outplayed us the second quarter. I think they changed a couple of things, the way they were defending the ground. And then at halftime, we, we were... Disappointed with our efforts, but we knew we were in the game. Like we weren't too far away, and um, we changed a couple of things. And then we we outplayed them pretty much in the second half, and we, we probably could have won by a couple more. I reckon. Mm-hmm. Um, and I outcoached Rico on the midfield, yeah. so suck on that, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we gave him a couple of different things. That we I knew Rico we knew how he plays, so we, we rolled an extra midfielder up, which we don't normally do, and um, we changed a few things. And we were happy with that. So Mac is still your mate. Mac is a great fella. Yeah, actually, someone mate? from the coaches box gave away a free kick though in the Mornington oh, coaches oh, box, oh. so they might look. Oh, my coach's box very calm and nice, but they oh, gave away yeah. free oh, kicks. No. So just, just, um, Absolute bullshit. Can't be giving away free kicks from the coach's box. No, boys. no, no good uh, at all. Uh, the next game, uh, Red Hill, uh, too strong for Lang Warren. Uh, 
Wow. When I thought Lang Warren was, you know, I mean, they've hit their straps. Well, not quite hit their straps, but they're going along nicely. Um, and I thought, oh, Red Hill, are they going to drop one here? But uh, come out and kicked six goals uh, in the third quarter. Still two... like the way that Red Hill are developing. Mm. No, developing absolutely. Developing nicely by, over, the, over the journey. You've played Red Hill? You've played Red Hill? I didn't play in round yeah. one. Yeah, okay. I missed. Uh, they've, they've got a good player in there, Michael Grech. Oh, he can play yeah, the boy. He's yes, he's my little yeah. fave now. Yeah, he's, he's a ball, isn't he? He's a ball, yeah, mate. I'd like to see him and Sam go at it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you two yeah. fucking absolute monsters. Oh, down yeah. Unbelievable. 49 points, of good course. Player. But you um, said before it was only Red Hill, so they, you got rested. Uh, oh, he <laughs> did oh, he did not. <laughs> didn't he say that? No, I don't. Oh, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> rested in round one. Well, he just did. You know, they set the game up. He's a good coach, Jamie. They're hard to play against. He knows he's a yeah. good coach and he tries to take away the oppo's best. So they're um they're going well, Red Hill. And yeah. Len Warren have improved. You can't. No, I mean, absolutely. Lost no, Len exactly. Last right. year. No. And yeah. no, I like, I'm liking Red Hill. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I like Hill, what they're I, doing. I think they'll play finals. Oh, mm. no, well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Rosebud going down to uh, to Mount Eliza, 59 points at Olympic Park. Kamish. Whack, yep, whack, 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 whack. Uh, and uh, and that rounds Pretty out. Predictable. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Pretty predictable. Bit too fast. Um, they're too fast. Yeah. Yeah. Rose, Rose, Rose yeah. Butter got some good players, and they're, they're, if they had their VFL boys playing, they'd be really hard to play yeah. against. But it's a strange recruiting. Thing. And Fletch. Yeah, like, what, I'm not partner, but if you go and get five blokes that are playing VFL every week, you're not getting them. And no, Fletcher's, so Fletcher's out. So hard, their captain, too. Fletcher's out for the rest of the Man season. Matt would always play good at Rose Butter. They like that big ground. Yep. Space. 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 Yeah. Space. Actually, a couple Space of invaders. Yeah. yeah, no, they're good. <laughs> Very good, man. Eliza, well done. No, that wasn't any good. Owen Williams playing senior footy. <laughs> it was good. Hey? Owen Williams was playing senior yeah, footy. Playing yeah, some good footy. Yeah, good kid. Yeah, yeah. Bloody oath, yeah. yeah. A whole bunch of them in there. And the... Uh, like Rose, grapes. Rosebud, uh, the full forward, I think he came from Cranbourne, Kirk Dixon. He's had yes, an impact in the comp. He's, yeah, he's yeah, a good he's, player. He's, he's oh, taken, he, got, um, he went whackety-whack a couple of weeks ago and got a week. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you missed out against our game, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yep. no, you can play a bit, though. Uh, my old next-door neighbour, believe it or not, Dicko. I there knew him go. when he was about eight years old. Right, eh? Yep, in go. the court at uh, Narry South. Oh. Hey, yeah, the Nary Nary South Lions. Yes, Narry yeah. yeah. South Lions. Won, won a flag. We would played against him back in the day. Very good Well, he actually played for Narry Warren. Did he? Narry Warren. Yeah, so Dicko was at Narry Warren. Another great footy club. Another great footy club. And we were just down the road. We walked down, Narry South Lions. Great football club. Anyway, we I digress. That rounds out. Uh, round rounds out round six let's jump straight into round seven um, we will of course leave the selection table oh, and it's a big game Jake we've got yes. uh, just lined up perfectly for you he's uh, going to tell us how he's going to kick five goals from the middle he's going to leave chin <laughs> and kick five <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but the first game, we've got uh, your boys, Spook, uh, Frankston taking Ooh. on Pines. This is going to be a bloody yeah. good game. Yeah, it's always a bit of a it's always a bit of feeling in this. There's a couple of boys that are pretty close amongst the teams, and any time you play Pines, you're probably going to come out with a sore back of the head and a few bruises. So this should be fun. <laughs> should be a good battle. Badge of honour. Yep. Badge of honour playing no, the Pines. A, they, so it's obviously, you know... You've, big game. You've, we've got to win. They've got to win. Like they, mm. they, it's going to be on for young and old. And you've come out, Spook, and said that, you know, they... Uh, uh, you're a smaller side, younger side, and Pines, you know, probably more, you know, statesmen of mm. statesmen of the game, bigger bodies, crash bang into packs. Um, you're probably a little bit more finesse around you guys um, Pines stoppages. Pines? Yeah, we played them. Oh, what round three, two or three? Right. Oh no, we played many round two. Yeah, round yeah. three we played them right. at Pines. At Pines. Yeah. And what'd you win by? Oh, four. I don't know. Well, I touched them up a bit. Yeah, right. yeah. Way too quick for Pines. Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. um, I think for uh, obviously uh, Savage will be a handful. He runs past and gets six thousand handballs received, and he mm. just uses the ball so well. I don't know whether um, the Ruckman is playing. Gabriel's he been playing or he might be out. If they haven't got yeah, a Gabriel out, and yeah. the other Ruckman, then Big H might have a have a field day for us. So we'll, well, we'll have a look at him this week. Train well and try and beat him. Next game uh, in round seven is Lang Warren taking on a Rosebud at Lloyd Park. Uh, it's a must win for both clubs, you would think. Ooh. Opportunity there for Lang Warren. Yep. Notch another win, I would have thought. Yeah. At Lang Warren. Yeah. Rosebud play well. Yeah, they Rosebud do. play yeah. well against Lang Warren. Yeah. They match up well. The grounds. Yep. Almost exactly the same. Yep. So they very that similar. Be, that would be a good game, well, Jake, I would have thought. That'd be, that'd be a 50 50 contest. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They've been a bit better around the ball this year, Lang Warren. Everyone you speak to, the coaches, they're. Um, they're getting the ball to the outside pretty well. They structure up around the stoppage as well, so they're getting. They're actually yeah. playing. They've got footy. a couple of good clearance players they have in there as well. Molvog's a good player. Yep. Um, Andrew Walther gets a yeah. bit of the footy, so they're, they're going well. Next game is Mornington taking on Sorrento at Alexandra Park. Ooh. 
This could go either way. This Again, a, another 50-50. Another 50-50 yeah, yeah. game, I reckon. Sorrento mm-hmm. want to bounce back from there, shellacking from Dramana. And uh, morning to morning to do the same. And I think they will. I think they will too. Who? Sorrento. You just friend beat Mornington? I think so. At home. Uh, sorry, I at, think so, uh, at, uh, at Mornington's I think cauldron. They might. I think they will too. Who do you think will win that, Lee? Uh, uh, Jake, sorry. Well, they did get a couple of injuries yesterday, Sorrento. Who went down? Uh, I think Miles went off Ooh. late. Uh, Clark went off early. How did they go? you going all right? Oh, I haven't seen much of him, yeah, to be honest. Speaking a bit of the footy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, and then I think they may have another couple. Okay. Like, well, but might, yeah. might be a chance for Wannington to get a yeah, much needed If, if it was a 50 50, it might be a bit. Bit, bit less, you take yeah. miles out of that midfield and and maybe another the, couple with look the, the good and Jake the, the good footy clubs you embarrass them and they normally come out yeah it's of true. course you oh, do. training's going to be a little yeah. bit harder and well, yeah. training that, that's hard. well, fifteen and goals and mouth guards in. even after we get, we got done by Mountie like we by, hit, by Matt Eliza yeah, <laughs> we, hit, we hit the track <laughs> we hit the track pretty hard on tu- on the Tuesday yeah, yeah. So oh, I bet I think they'll be doing the same yeah absolutely I I. I just, just don't think you can. Yeah, we had a, but I'm with you. Oh yeah, we had a couple yeah. of sore boys after the loss, and even the sore boys were getting out in the track. Yeah, so I reckon, they'll be, I reckon yeah. they'll all be getting out but there. Tough ground, Mornington. Yeah, I, like, look, uh, every reason to pick Mornington. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I just I, think I, I think the Sorrento yeah. being beaten by that margin yeah. is not. That's not right. No. That's not normal. No. I'll, so. I'll back Mornington there because I love Macker and love Josh Newman and love Rico. So come on, Mornington. Well, let's yeah, no, we'll, yeah. we'll make a um, we'll make a mental him, note. I think Suss is back this week. Um, is Suss back this week? I don't know. I don't know. You know. Um, that's if they let him go. Um, but we'll we'll keep an eye on those injuries, I reckon, mm. and um, we'll share them on the Halftime Heroes Facebook page just to let you know where Sorrento is at. Uh, Man Eliza, Big your gun, boys, yep. Kamish, taking on Red Hill at Emil Madsen Reserve. This is set to be an absolute cracker. Mm. Is it? Yeah. I think Red Hill will win. So do I. Oh, okay. well, no, I just, I just think they structure. I think they're structured now. I think the way they're playing, I think they'll. Jamie's a very good coach, and I think he'll take away. The way, as, as Jake mentioned, the way they play, and I think Jamie will go to work and take away their outside. And if Gresham gets a hold of the midfield, which I think I don't think anyone at Manalaza can go can with him. Go and they've got the big, big forward now. They've got they structure up well. I think they can win that game. Okay, it's good. Interesting. Yep. Uh, the- <laughs> You can't be okay. like this when it comes to I Manalize. don't think they're any up at all. <laughs> really? Do you actually think men are that Honestly. Good? Yeah, they're slick. Really? Yeah, when they're, when they're on. Ooh. Jake? Oh, <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're slick. They're, they're, absolutely, they're slick. I, I, and I don't know where they went wrong last week against well, um, yeah. Sereno. Sereno. So, And that was at home mm. on a good-sized deck. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not too sure. Where, where's this one at? At Manalizer. Yeah, tough to bet there. Yeah. But Red Hill oh, has a big round I'd too. Tip, I'd, yeah. be, no, I'd hey. be tip of Manny, Manny I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Could be a good game of footy. That could have been a match of the round if it wasn't for Jake and the YC boys going at it. Yeah. That's the that, big that one. Is wow, what a segue. Oh. The halftime <laughs> hero selection table round of the, um, sorry, game of the round. Dramana will be taking on Franks and YCW at home. Dramana Recreation Reserve. Absolutely, if you want to see some of the best local football getting around, make sure you get down to Dramana Rec Reserve because it's going to be fucking epic. Mm. Can we go have a footy? Who, oh, come on, you after tag, that, you've got to leave. Do you have a tag or anything? Not really. Yeah. Just go uh, go we, do have, we do have one. We had someone go to Savage yep. um, a few weeks back, um, and he did a real good job. Davo, yep. Riley Davison. Yeah, yep. so um, oh, whether we do that again mm-hmm. this week, um, I, I, I think we try not to. Yeah. Just let, it, let our yep. system sort of play anyway. Mm-hmm. But, so um, how much time this week, this week would be spent on any vision? Of what I see. Uh, doing, doing some scouting. Yeah, Jake, uh, Jake Nunn. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 Jake, Jake just puts his highlights for Richard up during the week. Goals from 50. Yeah. Uh, look, I, the I, um, I try to do a little bit on us yeah. early. Yeah. Just to, um, like I'd take some of our midfield stuff. So I'd just get around our mids and see what we did well during that week. Yeah, okay. And then briefly do some later on the week we'll do a little bit on them not not a, not a hell of a lot yep. but just if we can try and find an advantage somewhere um that's where i'll try and sort of focus yep. yeah. so who within the club jake's doing that like looking at the oppo oh well Holmesy might do some some numbers stuff with yep. the with the um stats that come up so they might he might have a look at the numbers stuff and he might do a bit of vision from 
what how they play and but um, that's not the priority at Dramana. It's more about your watching what you've. It's more you, about us, yeah. And like now, it's so good with the stats that come up. Yeah, you can see what, what you are week to week with the um, mm. numbers and stuff. Your and own KPIs. Teams. Yeah. Your own and, and the mm. teams, which is awesome. So like you can actually, um, when you do a review, like show the, the team like yeah, what's actually happened. So And like it's real, I reckon it's awesome. Like It's a it's little bit fantastic. from a higher level coming yeah. down. And Correct. Yeah. People, yep. When people buy into it, it's pretty good. Yeah, so yeah. Um, awesome. yeah, look, there's a little bit that goes on during the week just to prep for, for yeah. the opposition, but like not a hell, not, not VFL, yeah. AFL level yeah. wise. But, no. Um, but yeah, no. Well, it's still amateur. It's still amateur sport. Yeah, though. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. but then you get, I mean, and that was the amateur. reason why I asked is because you, like, we had Macker on, Lee McQuillan, uh, assistant coach of uh, Mornington last week, and they they're putting in forty to fifty yeah, yeah. hours a between week the four coaches. between yeah. the four coaches yeah. a week, like, and it's, still it's, gets fed up by Luke. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did four <laughs> hours. <laughs> my four beat their forty hours. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a lot. Quality, I wouldn't say, I'd do, quality, I wouldn't quality. say I'd do 40 hours. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, my my partner at home reckons I watch too much footy yeah. anyway. Yeah. So yeah. when I'm yeah. when I'm doing our our little tapes, I'm getting paid home, to do this, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. She's like, "Oh, you watching footy again?" Yeah. But um, yeah. but yeah, no, nah, yeah, I do I do a little bit more more around the midfield and see what they're yeah. doing. And yeah. if we can get an advantage anyway, that's what we look look for. Yeah, they're a bit uh, bit different this year. Why say you, you have a look at them during the week and Neil noticed too. They're um. They're getting a bit more outside because yeah. they're always you know, Luca spread. and Chin and bigger bodies, mm. but they're they're setting up at, uh, stoppages and they're really trying to get some speed on the ball. Obviously, because everything would be about trying to to match you guys. Noted change. Um, but uh, they still haven't got the the speed of, of you boys. That's mm. no no way they have. Good yeah. game of tootie that one. Oh, it's oh good yeah. game of tootie. It is going to be it, it, huge. I'm not too sure if the v, if the VFL boys come back. If there's a few like if you know Steely and those boys can come mm. back in the YC team, it might be a it might give them a chance. But I'd expect Dramana to win that. Yeah, Dramana for me. <laughs> At home, down there too. Absolutely. Ooh. Yeah. No. That, what do you reckon, Jake? Yeah. Well, well, for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, they've just got. I mean, they've just got some big bodies in that uh, midfield. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, our our aim would be trying to um, control the the yeah. outside, yeah. I guess, and yeah. um, which is something that we sort of aim to do every yeah. week. So, Bloody oath. yeah, it's going to be. Awesome. I reckon you run them off their feet. Second awesome. half. Fantastic. That rounds out Division One football and what is coming up to be round seven, a cracking round of football. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with Spook Soapbox and the Wrap. Welcome back to Halftime Heroes, the latest on local sport across the Mornington Peninsula. And welcome back to the Halftime Heroes. Jeez, what? It, does it get much better? Like, Jake Arts, like, Artsy, mate, fantastic. No, Thanks for joining the Halftime yeah, Heroes. Pretty, pretty Superstar. handy little player. Superstar. He'd be good at, at the Bombros. He'd like him at the Bombros. Well, we did, how, we, much, how much would you pay for Jake Arts at the Bombros? Uh, well, I did have a bit of intel on what he was sort oh, of after. On, but on. Um, the old John Brown rang him, so no wonder he didn't come. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little, little drive by there, JB. Um, yeah, rip it, bloke. He'd be, he's, he's the league's as good as there is in the comp now. Oh, yeah. And then you put him in the midfield, and then you stand next to Sam Fowler and Billy Quigley and Sam Gertz. You're like, oh, no. yeah, no worries, boys. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly right. Exactly right. Dean Kent, just Arts. Which one are we going for? Oh, Jake Arts by long. Oh, again. Dean, sorry. No, no, not oh, even close. Sorry, not Dean, even, come you. on. Rip, 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 I don't think De- Dean Kent wouldn't be running around Div 1 doing what he does in Div 2. It's a big gap. Good player, ah, big good player. Now. Big, he's he's, at, he's, at the, he's a bit older, but he's not at his. He'll come to different. Well, will he get a foot. chance next year? No. <laughs> do you I want called, to think, I called do you want to think about I don't think they can win the flag because they got a guy who can't coach. Yep. Yep. There you go. That's yep. my view. Nope. Uh, his handy. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Could be scratch. Probably it might be. Well, just when I thought that the uh, that the episode couldn't get any better, it does again because we just we just keep bet. What's going to happen at the end of the year? I don't know. But what is now time for is Spook Soapbox, Ooh. and we're just going to do um, we're going to do something positive get your arms wrapped around let's do something positive yes well uh, as we record this this is Mother's Day it's Sunday morning so we just wanted to give a shout out to all the mums out there in the yeah, footy community all the mums hey buddy they Love are you. they are the thing that holds all the families together they get the kids yeah. up in the morning they get them off to their games they buy their lunch they're running them to training so without the mums in the footy communities doing the canines and the, the water and the oranges we wouldn't have a sport so thank you all the mums you do a great yeah, job do a great job brilliant yeah. love you well all mums. Well, well, awesome. <coughs> well said love Spook I love like, yous all I like that from you we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with the wrap and more Halftime Heroes 
And welcome back to the halftime heroes. It's uh, well done. Happy Mother's Day. Well said, Spook. Um, and of course, Jake uh, for joining us. But uh, that is a wrap from the halftime heroes. Jake, mate, thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. It's and you're going to come back, aren't you? We yeah. spoke. We spoke in the ad break about you possibly coming back at our grand final panel <laughs> type thing. And why? Hey, wow. get, get Macarena, the inaugural, Nazi oh, and yeah. geez, it'd be on. It'd be like the two, like the boxes. Yeah, I actually know. I actually know um, Mac. Mac. He, he yeah. Yeah. Hey, it'd be fun. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, so I've had a ha- chat to him a couple of times. He so. very loves his footy. Yeah, oh, no, yeah he he's all over. He's it. Very good coach. Yeah. Your yeah. missus bloody says something. What would he? What would Mrs. Mac have? Oh, bloody <laughs> she and would. she's Canadian too. Yeah. She doesn't even know footy. I think she's from Canada. So oh, she's, she? what's, what's this yeah, game? But, oh, I didn't know that. But Artie's missus. She's sick of watching the Jake Arts highlights. She's got on repeat. She is. There's a telly in the bedroom. There's a TV in the kitchen. Oh, look at this one, honey. You've kicked three oh, again. Oh, no, stop it. I couldn't kick that. Dale, you've just cooked a good steak. You don't need to go running around the bench, running around the boundary, giving us... That's awesome. <laughs> thanks, thanks, that, thanks, thanks, Jake. That was Appreciate awesome. Uh, yeah, no, really thanks, Jake. Good Sorry luck. we couldn't spend more time, but it's Mother's Day. We're all under the pump to do this. Absolutely. Stuff, so. um, good luck against the course, YCW2, yeah, well, Dramana. Best for the year for me for sure um, Sus thanks for you letting us using your studio again uh, we hope to see you again soon Kamish thanks for thank joining you, us thank mate you, fun, as usual. Spook good, thank you good luck for Man Alive on the weekend Neil uh, yeah, no, I'm good sure luck. come on Red Hill I'm sure that's <laughs> He's up and about you. <laughs> Good luck against Pines. Um, they reckon they might beat you up as well on the bench. I, actually, I'm bringing a helmet and a mouth guard. Absolutely, yeah. I would be too. And make sure you park maybe down at and, and uh, a long and a <laughs> long. <laughs> that is a wrap from the Halftime Heroes. It's been a pleasure bringing you another episode. Good morning, good afternoon and good night.